Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome everybody. Right, just a little bit of turning today. We're all sorted out on our camera microphones and all that. It's got it all <laughs> sorted now. There's a lot of mucking about, but <laughs> there you go. It is sorted. Um, I'm going to turn one of these. Bank what? sitting up. Yeah. Right, now, I must confess. Oh, look at all that fluff coming off of it. Hmm. I must confess guys I've never turned one of these before I've never had any um, need or want to actually turn one but Lisa's kept on and on at me about turning one so we got one when we was at Newark and I said right I'll turn it but I didn't know what I was going to turn um, I've looked on the internet because everyone seems to turn a bud vase or a mushroom out of them and I didn't want to do that and I had a look on through YouTube and stuff to see what people have done. And I saw one the other day where um, Andy Phillips had done it. And he turned it this way. And I really liked what he did. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm gonna turn a similar type thing, my version of it. Uh, but I'm gonna, he done it as a little, um, just like a little ornament thing. But I'm gonna make it as a tea light holder and I'm gonna put one of these metal tea light holder things in it, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make it into a tea light holder because I quite like those. They're something we use. Now I did put, sort of put it on roughly to see where a, a centre would be. And I'm going roughly like there. I'm just turning this between centres at the start. I don't really know what to do. So I've never turned it's one. I don't know whether it? <laughs> it's going to fly apart on me. What it's got. I really just don't know what it's going to do. Okay. But I'm going to put it like that. And I'm going to turn it and I'm going to spin it quite fast and see what happens. Now I've I've checked to see that I've got roughly the same amount of distance here, but it's a bit of an awkward shape here. But I'm going to be going around. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. Right, I'm going to do it, tighten it up, get it nicely tight between the centres. I don't think it's going to come off at all. It could just totally fly apart on me. I don't know. I'm just saying, I've never turned one. This is new to me, guys. And this you find this in Australia, isn't it? Yeah, from Australia, aren't they? So uh, that or from outer space, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird. Looks a bit alien-like, yeah. doesn't it? Uh, there could be something living in there. Oh my god! Oh. I don't know. We'll see. It's very, very dry. Um, I don't think there's any nuts in it or seeds, but there could be some. And when he did it, it it's because of you've got all the holes in that. It was sort of. Yeah, it looked really weird, you know, really, really, but I, I really liked it. I thought it looked good. So that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to have a go. I'm just going to, um, well, I should use a few different tools. I'm probably going to start with a spindle gouge on this to see what it actually acts like, you know, before I go pushing anything in. Probably use a carbide when I follow it. So let's see what it does, eh? Let's see. Let's see, guys. Let's have a bit of fun and see what it does. <laughs> it's a first for me. Yeah. I think they look interesting. That's why I wanted you to do one. <laughs> well, this is on you, this one. <laughs> Not my fault, guys. <laughs> right, mask right, on. Right, mask on, face shield on, and we're all good. I'm yeah. going to start the lathe. Um, it's just set at my normal speed of 2,500. I'll start it up and see if anything can fly off. <laughs> yeah, a few little <laughs> things flew about, but never mind. Right, let's, uh, let's start it. Don't go. <laughs> Oh, they're sharp when they hit your hand. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. very sharp. Right. That looks like the stuff. solid actually isn't it yeah. yeah I've got this furry stuff here but it looks like a bit of rot in there um, I don't know what that's going to do right okay well we'll carry on right a bit noisy when I'm turning it so okay guys here we go let's carry on Things are 
when it comes off. <laughs> Put my hand out of the way because I'm not wearing a glove. I don't want one ever wear gloves when turning. Looking all right, okay. The fur's fluff's gone, I'm at the both ends. No, that mark is on both ends, isn't it? Both your two ends, you've got that, that mark. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's, you went it's, in one end good. and came out the other. <laughs> no, I think that's all, we're going to pass through that anyway. Yeah. So that's all right, I'm going to have to take that down a bit more in a minute, but that's looking pretty good, I quite mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Uh, Let's move in a little bit. We can get the alien. Get in <laughs> it's close. Alien, it? That's looking all right. <laughs> Thank you. 
board you'll see. I don't want to take too much of this away yet because I don't know how stable that is. It could cause it to fly off, see. changing my mind on where the bottom's going to be on this at the moment. <laughs> it's not going to be too, I've still got some fluff here, see that's the problem, I've got to get, get, cut that fluff away. Still got some fluffy bits coming out of it. That's looking alright. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's carry on at that. It's a first for me so I don't I really don't know what to expect of this. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice finish there anyway, a little bit of a nut there, look. Oh. Is that or is that a... That is something. Oh. Oh, a dead animal. <laughs> a dead bug. What is it? I don't know, it looks like cotton wool, but it's not. <laughs> No, it's not a bug or nothing. You'd think it looks like it's cotton wool, but it's not cotton yeah. wool, obviously. I mean, it's just the, the what's in the seeds. Let me get it out. There's a bit here as well. It's gone. A bit there. Need to sort of just clean them out, I suppose. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know, I ain't turned one. 
<laughs> well, we'll see what happens to that later. Right, okay, so that's going to be where my bottom's going to be. Um, that was going to be my tenon. It looks pretty crap there. I don't know. <laughs> it might work as a tenon. I haven't got a clue. Right, I need to take another little finish on that, and then that should be okay to sort of give a little sand to it. I think it should turn out quite nice actually, it's cutting wise. quite solid actually there's no holes there it looks fairly solid but I don't know having never turned this before yeah. and oh, well, let me take that off the bandana has come off let me put it up there out of the way ah, right I'm gonna cut that because I don't know if I go down any further it's just so it's out of the way for the chuck yeah. if I go down any further is it going to suddenly just come into a hole and break on me and then I'll lose the piece and I don't want to do that. No. There we go. That's off. No, it was oh, solid. Was solid yeah. That was solid on that bottom. Oop. Right, so oh. that's oh sorry. <laughs> so that's gonna be alright. I'm gonna get hold of that in my chuck. That should go in my little chuck up there. Get hold of that. It might even go this one actually. Yeah I think they're going that one. That could be a bit more secure hold, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's pop it on and have a look. If not, I did actually make it for the small one up the top, but I've got a feeling it might go in this one. What am I looking for? Your that. Um, <laughs> right, 
Okay. Yeah, this is totally new to me, guys. I've not done anything like this before, so I'm, I'm sort of learning as I go along here. Yeah? Right, I've got that in there. Am I going to hold it? Are you going to come off? Don't think you are. Why do you look? Sorry, it's my glasses. Mm. It's, it's got to be <laughs> even because I've turned it, haven't I? On side, one side. So, yeah. right, I'm going to squeeze down on it. That seems to be okay. I seem to have got it. I hope I've got it. Okay. Right. Well, we're just going to turn it and see what happens, aren't we? Yep. Come across the front here. I'm going to go for a slight, slight angle. I like a slight angle if I can. Right. And I'm just going to come in. Now I know the heights are different there, so. But that might all come down to the, the same. Still got some fluffy there. Gonna have all like gaps and holes, so there's gonna be that's gonna be quite nice. It sanded up nice, it cuts it's, really yeah. cuts nice. Um yeah, cuts really nice. Carry on, see what this does as a chisel. Yeah, chisel seems seems sharp, that doesn't seem to have gone blunt at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like, whether it's blunts at all or anything. It all seems alright. Right, okay. It's quite a dry wood though. Yeah, let's so. get me uh, face shield back on. Start that up and see what it does. Stand over here. It's staying on at the moment, so as long as I don't get any nasty patches or anything, it should be alright. Right, okay.
hurt coming. I've got some fluffy there, so I think I'm going to still keep taking I want to get rid of these bits on this end here, and I'm not there at that point yet, so I've got a good bit I can go yet. And hopefully, yes, we've got a slightly higher on that side, so I'm going to bring that. Bring that down to that. It's because it was an odd shape. It wasn't equal to shape. Well, this is going to be left like this a bit of it, I think. Hmm. But still, I've got to turn it around again, so I can always come up and take a bit more off of that. I can change it yeah. as I want to as I go. Mm -hmm. Let's just get some of this away. Stop start, I'm afraid, guys, because I can't really can't see it as I'm going there. Right, that's all I've got to get that little, little bit thinner there. A little bit thinner. Sharpen. It's take, totally taking the edge off my tool. <laughs> right, that's got to be the same thickness as that bottom bit there, so I'm getting there on that. Yep. Right, sorry guys, two seconds. Sorry, you over. You go that side if you want. good to go again right now then yeah I've got those about the same there that should be all right I've just got to come in here now bring this down a little bit deeper in there should be good a little bit less overhang on the tool if I can right okay
hard wood. Go on, not in it. Hard not to crack. Hard not to crack. <laughs> down inside this bit. That seems to be fairly level there. That didn't, that wasn't quite central there. I think, oh no, that's broken off a bit of that, is it? No. No, I didn't prob I probably could have been that way a little bit more on that, but that's not too bad. That's not going to be a problem. That's alright. Yeah, that looks like that's matching up alright there. Yep, okay. Right, let's just clean this bead bit up in here. Right, okay. Um, yeah, now. Mill hollower, I think, for this one. Mm -hmm. Just stop it because I can't see that wing properly. Bring that there. And that clear it. Right, okay. Got to follow this bit now. Not too low. Mm -hmm. Pull this light down a bit. <laughs> there you go, that should get in there. Mm -hmm. on the side of that so I'm going to go over to a 9mm a little 9mm box follower that will allow, allow me to get down in there so I want to sort of follow that that out that straight that's better
down there, babe. Just have a look and see. Oh yeah, that's nice in there. You go, go a little bit deeper. I can go a bit deeper there. I don't want to take this away until I've got my depth sorted out. So it's a little bit longer to do one of these than I thought. <laughs> Some nice holes there, that's all good. That's fairly thin there, so I can't go no more undercut. We've undercut right round there, look, there's my finger. Mm. So, uh, bottom's okay because I've got to come and take that bottom off. So, I think we're really, really, we're all good there. Mm -hmm. Now, I've just got to get the opening on there. Just have a little eyeball. Right, that's going to be near enough out to that rim, so that's good. I can do that. Right, okay, let's go. Six mil follower for that. Oh, I need to that one. <laughs> See the cutter inside it. The, <laughs> the, the tool inside. Ah, no, we lost the big bit. A bit chunked off, yeah. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? it yeah. Oh, that's a that's a bloody shame. I'm a bit gutted about that. I think you know what I might probably do. It I'm have the, that hole in it, isn't it? I'm, eh? Didn't it have that hole there? Yeah, I might actually put some resin in this, so that would be it might be a case of I'll bring you back on another one for that. Okay. Right, hang on. I've got to take some more of this away because it won't fit in yet. You 
without losing any more of it. It's okay, we're doing all right. Right, that's gonna fit. Okay, so I think a little bit of a resin pour and then uh, follow it out again. That's how it's meant to be, guys, so yeah. Right, I am going to have to do that and bring you back because obviously I've got to make the resin and do all the resin so I can't do all that on this one but that is basically what I'm getting there out of this basin. that was really a shame there there must have been a, a little bit I didn't get a catch or anything no it was just the whole it, it was just up. the hole opened up so it's gone through there so I think I'm gonna put some resin around that and yeah that that would be quite nice actually with a bit of resin on it but that's what I was actually going for with it and I think once that's that's finished off that's gonna look quite nice mm. that right okay guys sorry about that I will bring you back in a few minutes to you <laughs> well you won't notice you'll just come back and I'll be right I'm done so there you go <laughs> right I will see you in a little while to the pit for now bye guys right okay guys I'm back look at that <laughs> <laughs> right I didn't have to resin it. I found the piece. It went down, well, Lisa found it. It went down there and I managed, look, you can't even see. I glued it back in. It just popped off perfect. Yeah. So I glued it back in and it's going to be absolutely fine. So I don't have to, all I've got to do now is sand this bit. I did glue it on camera because I didn't know whether it was actually going to glue, but it did, it's glued. All I've got to do is hope that when I turn it around and I put the jaws on the inside, it crack. doesn't break that bit off. <laughs> I'm going to hold it very light and just take that bottom off. Yeah. That's all I've got to do now. A little bit sanded on here, which I'm going to do now, and then I'll be turning it round. So I'm going to put my dust extractor on. First thing, put my face shield on, and I'm going to just do a little bit sanding on it. Good, yeah. 
yeah, I like that. Right, okay, what I've got to do now is see if I can turn it around and hold it. So, I don't think it's gonna go over those drawers. I think it'd be a case of using my small ones. I want the, the long, I want the SC1 chuck now. Uh, yeah, the SC1, because that's gonna extend it out a little bit. That extends the jaws out and I can, uh, because I've got those wings that come over it. So this one. Now, um, yeah, I don't think I can use the other ones there. I don't think I could. Let's see how this is gonna go. Right, it fits over, I just mustn't pop that out. See, yeah. I don't... Can't over tighten. No, because it could pop pop that side open, because it's only glued, you know, it's only super glued. Right, now then. Ah, no, that's it, stop when you hear the crack. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, now that actually moves mm -hmm. so I'm not over that's all I am is that tight that's actually moving now I think that will be okay yeah. because one when I start it up the jaws will tighten a little bit but hopefully not tight enough to do any damage mm -hmm. and two the speed is what's going to help keep that in place so I'm going to put a, a center on it first just to give me a little bit of help, I just want to take this bottom off, see, that's all. Right. Right now. I can hear click, yeah, mm. I can hear clicking. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it off a little bit more. Right, that. Hopefully that should be alright. I'm gonna start it up and see. Hopefully nothing's gonna fly off of that. No bits, I mean. It, the thing can't come off. And I've turned before with it very loose like that. I, I tend to do that so I can get my cut. So gentle cuts. And we should be alright. Right, that's not actually on there. That's on there. Is it? Right, I'll start it, I'm hoping for the best. I'm not gonna watch, I'm not looking. Oh, I heard a click. I heard a little click. Right, okay. This stuff's so fragile, really, because it's all holes. It's all holes, so it's, it's very fragile, but I want to. Got 
Wrong front, I've got to go for the pointy one. More pointed. Get that to that middle. If we can, we want to put a little detail on there. got these holes it grabbed yeah. as like, look, oh. look, look, see how loose that is, look, yeah. I was just turning that and look how loose that is, <laughs> that's all it is, it's, it's not even held really, it's just to keep it in one place, oh, remember, go in, don't come out, of what I will oh split my God, it, yeah. don't split right, it that's it, Did no, it nothing hold? actually broke, it's all I think held, it's just little bits that were flying off still, I think, yeah, Oh, cool. it's, it's all That's held sweet. it's all good it's all good in there and it sits okay yeah. right okay let's um let's oil that and see how it looks with a bit of oil on it because yeah. obviously it's going to be oiled i can't uh i'm not trying to wax that i can tell you <laughs> not the speed that you go out of <laughs> <laughs> it's the speed that kept everything there that, yeah. that's the thing if I was turning that slow, I would have lost that. that. Would have lost, yeah. I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have got any of that. So that that's all right. I like all these bits that are sticking out. That's that's fine. That's good. That's all okay. That is. I'm just gonna stick a bit of oil on here and see how it goes. Now I want something to put some oil in. Right, I've got this little. That was that little live edge bowl I turned the other day. Like I finished it off. Just done the bottom, took the bottom off. I'm not keeping, I'm just going to have it to put some oil in. There you go. Last thing I want is another live edge bowl. Yeah, so many indoors. Now, why do I always do that? Yeah. Ah! Come on. I can get a pair. All right, okay. There we go. We are ready. Ready for surgery, it looks like. <laughs> right, okay, there we go. Get plenty of oil onto that. I'm going to put a candle in it and go, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Just make sure you're not leaning over when you're flying it up. <laughs> you get no eyebrows. <laughs> Love, nice finishing there. See, yeah. Consider I didn't do any oiling or anything inside, uh, any sanding, sanding yeah. inside that. We've got a lovely finish in there. Right, okay. Now this oil will soak in and it'll be, be nice. Nice colour. So I think this is a very old old nut, this one, very dry. An old nut. <laughs> old nut. <laughs> Well, I think it was something, something different. Yep. It's different. That's what it was. Well, and we lost a piece, yeah. and then we found it, and we saved it. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, well, you'll know, guys, because it'll be done. I, this video is just going to be cut and joint. Well, not cut, nothing cut. Just it's just going to be joined together, so you didn't miss anything. And hopefully, you don't have to watch part one, part two. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to watch part one and part two, so I didn't want to do a part one, part two. Right, okay, there we go. I should have brought candle in to light it, but uh, never mind. Right, there we go, guys. That's my uh, my little film of banks in up. We put put a little bit of uh, decorative in the bottom there, just a hint of it. Didn't really need it. It's got so much feature on this. Mm. It really has, and I wanted all these bits on the, the side. Edge, I wanted it yeah. to be like that. Okay. So, very nice. I like that. I yeah. quite like that. So it was a good idea of mine to get Banksy in that. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh. I wouldn't say that. Not at all. No. Come on, guys. You're with me, aren't <laughs> you? Next time you can turn them on. <laughs> <laughs> you watch the whole lot break up. <laughs> right, there we go, guys. That's it. That's my uh, uh, dry out. That oil is soaking. It dulling down a bit a few little marks there probably could have taken enough but I couldn't really take any more cuts on it not with the way it was it was breaking up on that bottom I think it's very dry and brittle right but that is it anyway there we go guys that's my little thing on a Banksy nut okay that's what I wanted to do with it I saw um, say Andy Phillips did did one he done it just as a little box thing I thought I'd take it slightly different and do a tea light holder for it so there we go guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one toodle pip and we saved it Yay. that's where it broke that bit that broke out was right there that piece because it had this hole there but it glued straight back in with no i can't even see a join on it you can't even see a join so there you go Absolutely brilliant. Right. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next one. Toodle pip. Bye, guys.